All right, guys, we're doing the 39th Hired Request today. And it is a, an old song from the 60s from a band called Question Mark and the Mysterians. And the name of the song is 96 Tears. And someone hired me to do this one, the 39th Hired Request. And guess what? Today I'm going to give you the whole song. It's kind of, it's, it's a short thing, so I decided to give, give all of you the whole thing. I could have divided it into two parts, but figured, you know, some of you are, are young kids that can't afford a membership to the website, or, um, you know, you just flat can't afford it, so that is fine. So I'm going to give you a whole song today, and uh, it's a good, you know, beginner, early, intermediate song. I have a, an electric piano sound on my keyboard. The... Uh, there's an organ sound in this old 60s video. You can look it up on YouTube. It's Question Mark and the Mysterians, 96 Tears. And uh, it's just an organ part all the way through. I'm going to show you what the organ's playing. It's not that complicated. Then I'm also going to show you a bass line you can put with it, which is what the bass player is playing on it. It sounds a lot like The Doors, The Monkees, and you know all that early 60s stuff. Uh, but the, the organ starts out like this. Little uh, blues thing there. And then, you know, it's, uh, let's see. Uh, so I'm going to show you a bass line to put with it, but let's do the little intro. Again, this is Question Mark and the Mysterians. And, uh... Check out my website if, if you want to know. A lot of people want to know what's on the website. Well, it's the same stuff that's on YouTube, but I finished the lessons instead of giving you the part one. Give me the whole song on this one today, but uh, my website, webpianoteacher.com, works on all mobile devices and, of course, as well as PC and, and so forth. Um, best place to check me out is uh, Facebook. Just do a, a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com and you'll find me. Seancheek.com is my site for learning how to sight read regular music notation. So if you want to become a, a mad dog beast in reading <laughs> uh, music notation, that's my site for doing that. Be ready for some hard work, and but I'll give you the keys and the skills to retrain your brain and become a good sight reader. By the way, I was saying retrain your brain before that commercial did. <laughs> That's on TV now, but I'm sure somebody said it before that, but uh, let's do this little uh, Oregon intro, uh, which is, I, I just put a D here because I think it, it helps, um, I don't necessarily hear that in the YouTube video, but this little uh, blues lick in G, we have C sharp and G with 2 and 5, and we're going to flip it to 3 for the D. And then we're going to do that again. So if you'll think of these two as a group. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the website, webpianoteacher.com, even though I'm going to just make one video and, and make the whole thing for all of you to, to learn for free. And then a little G in here that I thought I'd put in there in blue. It kind of helps the riff out. And then we're going to go G, C, and then G, B flat, and then G, G, G. Okay, some of you might have a, an old 60s type sound on your keyboard. Use that. I don't have one on here, so this is as close as I can get. Or on your piano, it'll work too. It's fun to play along with it from the YouTube video. It's actually in tune. A lot of those old uh, 60s, they, they didn't even bother tuning, and, and uh, so it's you know not in tune when you try to play with it. All right, now the organ, let's see. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Now the organ player is just playing fifths. He's just going. He's just doing that. And I'll show you that, but I'm also going to show you the bass line that the bass guitar is doing. And this is the kind of stuff you get with my lessons you don't get with others. Is that I, is that I try to fashion it to make it sound good for solo piano, solo keyboard, whatever. You know, I try to stay true to the original as much as possible. But sometimes that's not quite enough. We need to... To, you know, tweak it a little bit. And the bass line, the bass guitar is going. Da, 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 da. So, uh, let's see. Uh, let me remember it. That's what it's doing. Ba 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 da ba ba da ba da ba 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 da ba da. There we go. Uh, and I'll show you that bass line in a minute, okay? But let's learn it just what the organ's playing first. The left hand, I put a G there. Let's do a G5. And for the 
for those of you who don't know any music theory, G5 just means a G, and then you'll add a fifth with it, because it's five notes away. G, A, B, C, D. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? All right? So he's just holding that fifth. And the first time he does it, you play the G5, and then you're going to come in with this blues thing, which is G and A sharp together. Okay, A sharp is just like playing a B flat with one and two. Then I'm going to quickly flip the A sharp to B on my third finger. Okay, so I'll play this first. And then I'm just going to play five more GBs. One, two, three, four, five. So you end up having one, two, and three, and four, and... It might be easier for you to just count in regular metronomic time instead of counting five of these, something like this. One, two, three, four, because there's four counts in the measure on this. It's in common time. One, two, and three, and four, and... Okay? And you can keep playing this fifth. So we'll have... From now on, just eight, eight, eight. Um, and if you want to play the fifth again, you can play it one, two, four, five, six, seven. One and four and seven. So you have one, two, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you're advanced enough, you want to try to play it, you know, several times during the measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, four, and seven will work. Give you a little syncopated beat there. So from here we have one, two, and three, and four. This measure is different just because it's the beginning of it. Just, you know, where the uh, verse starts, I think. It's just a little different on this first one, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then when we get here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is essentially this measure, but it's not the beginning, so there's nothing special about it. You're just going to play it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, on this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Now this one's different because you have G and B flat, uh, you have the C5, and, and I need to write that too. I guess if I'm going to write G5, I need to write C5, which is the same, th same thing as playing C and G together, because G is a fifth above C, C5. Okay, when guitar players play power chords on their electric guitars or acoustic, they're playing a five. They're leaving out that third, you know, in the middle of the chord. So that's what a power chord is. It used to, you know, you think, oh, power chord means it has a lot of power. No, not necessarily. Um, it's just that it's an open fifth and an octave. They'll play it, you know, put an octave with it too. So it has kind of an open sound instead of putting that middle note in there with it. See? More of an open type sound. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But on eight, instead of playing the G and B flat again, the organ player just plays the G. Again, this is what you get with my lessons is the detail on certain things like that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And sometimes you run across players who are playing a live version and they'll make a mistake or they'll get lost mentally. And so I'll correct it for them. <laughs> uh, Elton John, Bruce Hornsby, all these great names, uh, and myself included. I don't include myself with those guys but because they're you know better than me, but... Um, we get lost, you know, sometimes. And we cover it up and nobody knows. Well, most people don't know. <laughs> Some people will know. And I'll correct it for him and smooth it over. Uh, but here he plays a G. And I think he plays that G there because he's getting ready for this. I'm glad YouTube uh, allows more than f f uh, 10 minute videos. It, for a long time it was just 10 minutes. But now I can go as long as I want. So uh, I can... Make this all one lesson. So how about we do this? Let's go from the beginning and go through the first line. Ready and go. Okay, I haven't shown you that bass line yet because that's not what the organ player plays. I'll show you that at the end. So for something you more advanced players that want to go. Or ba -ba -ba -ba. Anyway, here's this next part. Bum, let's see. Ba, da, da, da. Now, what the organ player is doing here is he does the octaves. He goes. Da, 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 da. Okay, he's got he's got a band behind him. He's got a guitar player and a bass guitar, so he doesn't need to cover any left hand here. But if you do that on your piano or keyboard and you're by yourself, um, it's gonna it's gonna sound weird. Now, where where the where the bass go? Um, so you need to maintain a G5 down here. Now, to 
to fill it out a little bit, what you could do is, okay, you could do a G with a G octave and you could do the G's as octaves. And that kind of gives you a fuller sound to imitate this. Now if you can do this, make it smooth, then we can get away with that, with doing octaves. If you're proficient enough to play octaves in your right hand. If you're not, you can just do this. And that's probably the way I prefer it, is just, you know, playing it strong and uh, G5 down here. But anyway, let's look at the right hand. G, D, E, G, D, E, G again. Five, two, three, five. And I'm going to one and two and three and four and and I don't, you know, for rhythms, uh, if you want to count it, one and two and three and four. And the G is longer. And for people, you know, this whiteboard method is for people who play by ear. <clears throat> so it's not just enough to have the board. You have to have the teacher, you know, me telling you how long to hold it and you listening. Uh, and so I'll just put a dash there, you know. And a lot of people don't know what 4-4 four, four time means or what an eighth note is. So this is for uh, one and two and three and four. And it's for people... We're just playing by ear. Now here we have D sharp, which gives us that that blues thing. Uh, that's why the D sharp's in there. Uh, so we use the same fingering, two, three, five, but D sharp, E, G, D sharp, E, G, and then D sharp. Now it's a little different. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, the rhythm's the same on these two, but the note sequence is a little bit different. Da, 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 da. Okay, we have G5, uh, G5 here, and then C5 there, so we have da, 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 da. and actually here I like the C to go lower, so ba, da, 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 da. So there's something you can do, ba, 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 Anyway, it happens two times. See the two X there, two times for those two measures. And so I'm just coming up with ways to make it sound like the original. You da 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 da. Okay, because you have the hi hat going ch -ch 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 on the drums, and that takes care of that rhythm. Or you just go. Something like that. Play around with it, make it your own. Uh, and, you know, the end result here is not to become a great copier and mimicker of everyone else, but to develop your own style, make something your own. Okay, use this as a guide, but ultimately, play it the way you feel comfortable. Um, so two times on that, on that little thing. And that's basically, um, well, there's another part up here, but that's the main hunk of the song. Because after we do that two times, we go back to this. Da, 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 da. show you that bass line here because this is just a repeat of the beginning right we have GB 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 I don't need to teach that again because I already showed you down here and you can see eight times for each okay so that's what the organ player is doing so if you want to just play what he's playing you know there's no need to go beyond that GC 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 it's GC so forth but if you want to play that bass line the bass line goes da 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 I'll get it here in a minute. It goes da 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 ba da ba ba ba. That's what he does. So let's learn that first. So you don't have to learn this. this is for you advanced players that want to do this. If you um, don't want to learn it yet, then just wait, and I'll get to this in a second. But he goes G D E G. So bum ba 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 bum ba 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 bum, and then you have E D. And so let's do that first. Ba 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 ba. Ba, ba, do it again. Ba, 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 ba. Let me go super slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me go slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? And guys, on my website, webpianoteacher.com, I have thousands and thousands of videos that I've done over the past seven, eight years 
everything you think of from beginner lessons I have uh, 50 beginner lessons for people who are just just starting out don't know anything and those will really get you started with chords and scales and getting your left hand and right hand going together and then you can you know the lessons are graded one two three four five start with some easy ones uh, level one stuff beginner stuff just to get a feel for it and then level two three four oh, I have classical stuff on there I have uh, man you know you know rock uh, from all uh, decades and uh, you know just all any genre of music you can think of all right um so we went bah, 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 bah. okay you got that go real slow till you can play it one two three four five six seven eight make sure there's eight okay you got to count to eight make sure there's eight or it won't work out now for the when it, when the bass player gets to see he goes bah, Ba, 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 ba. C, E, G, C, E, G, and you know that as a C chord, right? A lot of times bass players are just outlining chords, and this is one of those places. C, E, G, ba, 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 ba. But you hold the C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See that slow? So if I start here, ba, 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 ba. Go here. You got it? Okay, and then we have um, my little symbol for dot to dot, which means go to this dot and play to that dot, which is essentially just doing this and dot. Repeating that again, and then etc. because it keeps doing the same patterns. Okay, it's basically this or this. <laughs> the, the intro and beginning was a little different because it's the beginning of the song, but after you get going, it's just this or this, this or this. Now, the, when it changes, we get to a minute and 20 seconds. We get to, I guess we'll call it the bridge. It's not really a chorus. Um, you change and you go. You can either just hang out on an E in the left hand, on E B on, on an E five. And this is weird. Thirteen times music music uh, you know goes in twos, fours, eight, sixteen, thirty two. But thirteen is not normal <laughs> to amount to do something. But here it is. We have thirteen here. You're gonna do that thirteen times. So let's learn how to do it. E and B. Then you're going to come in with the right hand with an E minor triad. E, G, B. So get one, three, five on E, G, B. And we're going to go E, G, B together with three and five. E, G, and B together. And you'll hold it a bit and then go ba, ba. It's one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and. That's all you do for 13 times. One, two, three. And I'm not going to do it 13 times and bore you out of your mind. Uh, but and, and you know, music is that way a lot of times. You have the sing, the vocal, the singer, he's vocalizing on some notes or whatever, and and uh, the band's just hanging out on that chord for a long time. That's part of being in a band. Is just uh, hanging out on the chord for a long time sometimes. Now, if you want to play the bass line. Ba -da 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 -da. bass player is playing, the bass guitar player. E, A, G, E, E, la, la, la. You'll play the E here. Then when you get to the G, B, you'll go A, G. And then when you get to the, you'll play the E here with the E on the right hand. So it'll end up being left, right, right. We go even slower than that. times. Now, the 14th, 14th time we're going to do this. That's it. Ba, 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 ba. Which is C. You can do a C5 or a C octave. And the right hand goes E. And then we'll play a C major triad. C, E, G together. Then we'll play C, E, G again. Then we'll play C, E, G one more time. One. And 
then it goes uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Now this is a little bit different the way it goes here. The chords are not different. You already know how to do the G thing and the C thing, but it's a little bit different at this point in the song. You play G five, and then you're gonna then you'll come in with G B seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you say, well, there's only seven count, there's only seven eighth notes in that measure. No, there's eight, but you play the left hand first. You don't play them together like that. He goes left hand first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the right hand comes in on the two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we go to the C one eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now here's the deal that's different, really, is we go to the G and it does it sixteen times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Or I did wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen times. And then we go to C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G. What is that just like? That measure right there is just like that one. And then we go la 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 Okay? Uh, so remember check out my website and uh, you know become a member. There are lots of good videos for you to uh, learn to play the piano better, go at your own pace. And uh, it, the memberships are not recurring. Once you pay for membership, your card does not get charged again. You have to, your membership will expire and then you'll actually have to, you know, pay again because I, I don't do that. I, I hate when uh, companies take advantage of our forgetfulness and uh, make it difficult to cancel and all that stuff. So I don't do that. You pay, you pay for what you want and that's what you get. And if you want more, you got to go in yourself and, and pay again. So on uh, SeanCheek.com and WebPMPG.com, the memberships are not recurring. You pay and uh, you get your month or three months or a year and then you go back in. Unless you want a lifetime membership, every once in a while I'll do that and you can email me about that if you're curious or on Facebook or Easy Piano Lessons at Yahoo.com is my email address if you want to inquire about those things. I also have lessons on DVD um, that you could just, you know, contact me about that and I'll let you know what I have. But I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, it's been a great Saturday for me already. My four kids already run me down <laughs> and it's not even noon yet. So, uh, But I love it. It's a great life and uh, thank you guys for all your support. We'll talk to you later.